This is Aidan Lamont from SHC TV and today I'm very lucky to be joined over Zoom once again by Jack McGann ahead of his fight on the Tyson Fury France and Gano undercard in Riyadh later this month. So yeah, Jack, how have you been since we last spoke? I've been good, mate. I've been good. That's good to hear, that's good to hear. So obviously this upcoming fight at the end of October, how did that come about and how long have you known about it for? Um, well, come about with, with a lot of luck, right, right place, right time, but... but... Just it was just hard to me management and then and then mostly most importantly Spencer Brown and um they got it done between each other and then with the help of my sponsor the power of one we we managed to to land it but I've, I've known about it for a while but it was like it was just I've had that many things for too in that, in the past twelve months I just was terrified to to like stick with it like yeah we're definitely getting it and your confidence was just low but um but no we, we've got like heavy everything's all our visas and everything already everything's signed and it's 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 on now so i mean i'm over the moon how much do you know of your opponent because you're obviously taking on 12 and 3 roberto duran jr how much do you know about him obviously he's the son of the legendary roberto duran but how much do you know about him as a fighter <clears throat> i've um I've, I've had a little a little look at him as the fight's getting closer now i'll Obviously, my coaches and stuff are looking, but I'll start looking myself because I, I like to get a sort of a feel of the guy in my head before I get in there. Um, but f- from the few the few little bits that I've watched, he's, he's a tidy boxer and, and he's um, at the end of his age, he's basically a son and, and, and it's literally in his blood. So um, I know that we're, we're going to put on a great fight and, and, um, and yeah, I can't, I can't wait. What do you think a win would mean to you for you and your career going forward if you were to get the job done on October 28th? I think that I finally got the, the platform I've been asking to, to show off me, me skills and it's more so about how how I perform. So if I go out there and get a big highlight real knockout, then the, the 29th of October, everything looks completely different from then. But that, that that's how I'm looking at it. This this is me, the biggest fight in my career because of I've got this like I'm looking at, at this as like my chance to to perform where where everyone's looking and and um, make a big statement. If you do get the job done, where do you think you want to go from there? Do you think you maybe want to go for a potential British title or something like that? Well, yeah, I I, I think that as far as the British goes, that was a sort of a weird one because a couple of months. Ago, a couple of months ago, um, obviously Josh Josh Kelly vacated, um, and Sweet and Cartwright, they they got put forward for an, an eliminator, and I got put forward, put forward for one with, um, what's the last name, with Lee Cutler, Lee Cutler said he wants to go for the English, so he's getting an English title fight next. So Sam and Sam and Sweet and, and Mason fought for the vacant British, and I just sort of got left in the left with not not no options, not nowhere to go with it. So I I, I should have a strong case to be man, mandatory for the for the British going off them grounds because that's what would have happened anyway. If me and um and Sweet beat Mason, and I was a fought Lee, and then the next fight would have been for the British anyway. Do you know what I mean? So um so yeah, we'll see. We'll see where that goes, but, but maybe that next year. Okay, so obviously back to the fight. How's training been so far? It's been good, mate. It's, it's, it's been a good camp, obviously, because I was, as I said before, I've, I've had a lot of stuff move around this year. Um, so I've sort of, I'm getting ready to go into fight camp. I'm fighting there, I'm fighting there, I'm fighting, and I just kept, I've been in a good place for a good few months, you know what I mean? It's not like I've, I've, I've um, fell off the wagon and I've had to start with that show. so, um, but where I'm at now, four weeks out, I'm 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 absolutely flying and and I'm going to shift forward for the come the twenty eighth of October. Where I should put in a a career best performance. Yeah, so obviously fighting in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia during Riyadh season, obviously that's massive out there. Do you think that'll mean you get some more fans from Saudi? I hope so. Well, I think my my fight style is always fan friendly, like like it's made for TV so. That's why I've been dying just to get on there somehow and, and I've managed to land the, the biggest one of the year. So, um, yeah, I made up, but, but 
No, it's very rare that someone will watch me fight and won't come away wanting to watch another one. And I've fought in Russia in the past, and um, no one knew me coming in, but I got a couple of fans from it just just off me fighting alone, which is what I look to do in October in the end of the month. So do you know how many rounds that fight is? Because I'm pretty sure I heard someone that was like eight or something, or maybe ten. So eight. how many rounds is that? Can you say? Eight. Okay, okay. That sounds good then. So what what do you think your end goal would be in boxing? Because I think last time we spoke, you said it was just to keep on fighting and see where you end up. Is that no, true? That, it, the, re- the reason I get that answer is just is just like I can sit even go, I want to win a world title, but but like obviously I do. I want to go as far as I can, but me next, there's no point looking ten steps ahead. I just look at the next step, and then okay, well, it's like it's like this fight, it depending on how I win, and the fashion I do it can change the next steps. Not it's not as simple. It's just oh, if you win this one, is it there? It, it, do you know what I mean? It, it's things are always moving so much in in fighting. Then it all goes off performance. So I just focus on the next performance, and I'm, and I'm putting on a wow performance. And then see where we are from there. But obviously, obviously, I want to win a world title. I want to do as much as I can with this with the short time I've got in fighting. That's not me. That's anyone. It's, it's such a short career. But I just that that's why I always say, fight to fight. We'll just see how far we can go. Because there's, there's no point looking right down the line if because you've got to do so many things right to get to get there anyway. Yeah, that is a very good way to look at it, mate. So, have you got anything you want to promote? Say for your Instagram, the Power of One, anything like that. Just, just as always, the the, the Power of One. Me, me, me um, Number one sponsor who, who supports me since since I've been breaking COVID and come back, they they've literally changed me not only my career but my life as well. So, um, I just fly the flag for them proudly and and I'm looking forward to doing that in, in Saudi at the end of the month. Thank you so much for your time, mate. I really do appreciate. Oh, that. Thanks for having me. On. Thanks for having me on, mate. And then and then that was sponsors, but it, but just to thank just to thank the power on as well, and then me um, my manager Alfie Warner and, and all the Warner lads and 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 Spencer Brown again. For giving me this opportunity, I'm, I'm going to make sure that um, the, the, the all, they all know that they, that they made the right choice getting me on.